everybody has been asking me about gun laws because I've, you know, I've worked with guns for a long time. First of all, I, so my goal in this particular video is to piss off the crazy gun rights people and the crazy no gun rights people because I think the answer is always in the middle when intelligent people get together. Trudeau recently banned is banning handguns. I think that's just a strategic ploy to get the conservatives to overreach because the conservatives lost the last election because a couple months before they said they support assault weapons, probably the dumbest political thing ever. So keep that in mind. I think the liberals are trying to create a controversy around guns uh, because he announced it at the Polytechnic massacre in Montreal, which was horrific, but it was a very isolated event in which somebody used a submachine gun, not a handgun. So why are we banning handguns? What I would ask people on that side is, give me the numbers of people who have killed themselves or killed somebody else with a legal handgun in Canada. Compare it to others, then we can see is this a real risk, right? How many legal handguns have killed somebody? Handguns kill people because you can fly them with a drone from Michigan over the Ontario border, right? So are legal handguns the problem? The other thing though I would like to chat about for the people who say we should have assault weapons and all these is there is a real deficiency in training. Even though you have to take a one day or a two day course to get a firearms license, when I was in the military, before I could fire that uh, rifle at a live range, I had to do four to five days full time training. And then I had to qualify to show that I could sh hit something, I could clear the weapon safely, I could do all this. And then every year I had to do an annual certification that if I didn't certify, I couldn't keep it. So why did I have such a high standard to use such a lethal weapon, but everybody just wants to be able to walk into a store and grab a, a firearm with no training, no real training, and no recertification. They can hand it to their buddy to shoot. So I don't think it's bad to have regulations. Responsible gun ownership, I don't think is that bad of an idea. I don't know how uh, you protect your home uh, by calling 911 if somebody is breaking into it to rob you or rape you, right? But if somebody is highly trained with a firearm, they could defend themselves in that circumstance. You know, but um, otherwise, if you don't have any firearms, the strongest person wins every fight. And is, there, is that where we wanna go? Where just the strongest person wins every fight? Because you have a, uh, a bit of a vulnerability there. It's a complicated topic. I don't find uh, a lot of the police authorities really understand gun law in Canada and people get charged with things that they shouldn't be, but I don't think the solution is to ban them all. I think the solution is to raise the bar and the standard before you can get one.